Hey Omar, do you have any advice for junior doctors? Yes. So, you're a junior doctor, and you've seen a patient who you think is probably fine? I mean, it's probably nothing, but you're worried it might actually be something rare and serious. So you go to the consult and you start presenting the patient, but you don't actually say the word aneurysm, which is the main thing you're worried about. Because you've never actually seen an aneurysm before, and you don't want to sound dramatic or like you're making a fuss. What if I sound? So instead, you just present the symptoms, hoping they'll hang in the air like a constellation between you. Aneurysm. But the consultant reckons, sounds fine, and they can go home. And you're so keen to keep things slick and smooth and unawkward that you've already started turning around and saying, oh, yeah, of course, yeah, probably fine. And that is the moment. Well, how about that instant save face, poker face, when the vascular registrar asks you about the patient you've just referred? Sorry, could I just, could I just run a patient past you? Perfect. I've got a 55-year-old man who's got a known history of hypertension, and I'm worried he could have an ischemic limb. And they say, I mean, does the patient have atrial fibrillation? No, I don't. No. No. Okay, no. No. And then you check, and they do. Oh, yeah, I've got that atrial fibrillation. You do, you do. No. Oh, one of my favourites is when a junior doctor is too shy to ask about an x-ray because the other guys around you might think you're dumb for asking it or because they feel like they've used up their question quota of the day or something. So they just zoom in and out for several minutes, hoping a passerby will just tell them what it shows. My point is... Medicine happens in lots of places. Hospitals and GP surgeries, on wards, in conversations, in investigations. But medicine also happens in moments, the tiny inflection points, all those internal micro-dramas. Moments of social friction where you feel too awkward or dumb or embarrassed to do what might actually be right. What if I sound dumb? Instead, you can get better. Catching yourself in those moments and pushing past that friction. That's what you have to get better at as a junior doctor. Not being afraid to be dumb or being awkward, or to make a little bit of fuss even though the patient's already breached or already on the way to the ward or whatever. Building up this bit of firmness, this tiny strength, it's enough to make you pivot back in a corridor and go and double, triple check. That's enough to say, look, I'm really sorry, but I forgot to mention this. Enough to just push a little bit, pause a little bit, and maybe change your decision. If you change that, you might change everything for a patient. Anyway, that one was okay.